to you about your core and most importantly your transverse abdominis, your inner core, and how to work that correctly so you can get the results that you want. There's a lot that goes into it, so we're going to start slowly with maybe one or two things a week to make sure that you're really focusing on what I'm trying to tell you guys and to make sure that you're practicing it for a certain length of time. All right, the first thing I want to go over is proper form for doing core exercises. So when we lay down on our mat, initially when you come up to do a crunch, most of you are going to come. You're going to come up. And you're going to see this bread loaf, mountain, hill type thing. And that is not what we want going on. So we need to go back down. And you want to make it flat. So you're going to notice that typically when you lay down, your back arches and it's not touching the mat. So you're going to use your core to pull in so your back touches the mat. So we're up. And use just your core. You shouldn't be pushing off your heels or anything like that. <laughs> should be loosey-goosey. Make sure that you're not using your leg muscles, that you're only using your core, and it's a tilt like this. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Just tightening. All right, so when, our, when we do have it tightened, we have it contracted, we've got that pil pelvic tilt going on. Then once we sit up, going to be flat. And this is how you're going to want to do any of your core exercises. When you come back down, hopefully you can see the difference. I'll put my arms back here. Between going up into a cone. And it's, it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then we do our tilt. And we come up. And it's flat. So at night, practice those tilts. You may be 25, 25 to 30 tilts each night. And just practice that for now. Practice breathing out of your mouth as you tilt. And it takes longer than you think to get your body to just do it on its own and to make sure you're not using your leg muscles, but eventually it will become second nature to you. Once you've done about 25 or 30 of those, go ahead and give the crunches a try. So, If you have any questions, let me know.